Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'll be covering two of SEMrush's tools. I'll be covering the SEMrush Organic Tool and the SEMrush Keyword Gap Tool. So let's dive in. So in a previous video, I did a SEMrush review and tutorial, and I basically did an example of covering the Keyword Magic Tool, which is probably my favorite within all of what SEMrush has. In this video, I'll go over two of my other favorite segments of the Competitive Research Toolkit here, and they are going to be the SEMrush Keyword Gap Tool and the SEMrush Organic Search Tool. Now, both of these tools fall under the SEMrush Competitive Research Toolkit, and this toolkit gives you data-driven insights into what your competition is doing so you can outperform them. So you can go directly to semrush.com slash competitive research to see a complete overview of what's included in here. Now, before we dive into these two features, I just wanted to let you know that if you don't already have SEMrush, you can use the link below and get an extended free trial of 30 days, and you can take advantage of it by using wpwithtom.com slash semrush, and that will help me out as well and support my channel. So with SEMrush Organic Research, it lets us check out competition. So in this example, I'm going to be using Canva, Get Stencil over here, which is my favorite of the three, and Pick Monkey. And I'm going to be going through these three design type tools that you can use to create social media graphics and all types of graphics online. And I'm going to be putting them into these tools and just going through how you can evaluate competition. So if we were to scroll down from here, we can see that here is the organic research area. I'm just going to right click and open this in a new tab. And from here, it's going to open the area where we can then put in our domain name. So I'm going to put in Canva here instead of Amazon. I'll just delete that and I'll paste in Canva. If you want to, you can choose to go and search by the root domain and exact URL. So if it was canva.com slash logos, maybe you would look at that. And you can also look at a subdomain or a subfolder. I'm just going to use the root domain in this example and we'll search. And it's going to take a second for those results to come up. But you can see right here different things that relate to the organic research for Canva. So you can see that there's about 620,000 keywords. And if you were to hover over something like this, it will tell you what it means. The I right here, it's getting 5.9 million in traffic. And if we go down here, we can see organic search positions. So we can get an idea of what they're ranking for and what the volume is of the search that they're bringing in by having these ranks. So they're actually ranking for a lot of different colors, like Royal Blue, their second, and that gets 165,000 search volume. Kelly Green and Infographics is another good one that they're ranking. Actually, it's sixth right now. So you can see that some of these get a huge amount of search volume and the direct link is over here. So if you're going to compete with something like this website, you're in an uphill battle. It's a very, very strong website, but you can scroll through here and get an idea of some of the things that they're ranking for. And again, it's over 6,000 different phrases that they're ranking for within this area. So if we go to where it says overview, we can also get an idea of some statistics. And you can see the trend that we've had over here in organic searches. And we can also go over here to competitors to get an idea of what they say the actual competitors are in the organic competitors. So it says posteronmywall.com. I don't even know some of these. Photor I know is a very good site as well. Here is a very interesting stat as well that I should have covered. And it's the traffic costs. And it says they've essentially saved $9.3 million dollars because of all of the keywords that they have ranking right now, that's how much the traffic would cost if they were to pay for it with Google AdWords. So it's a very, very popular site. Now, if we go over and go back over here, I'm going to X out of this for the organic research. This is the one that I like more, and that is the keyword gap tool. So once this tool opens up here, you can actually compare different domain names. So I said I was going to compare Canva get stencil and pick monkey over there i'm going to act as if i'm get stencil in this scenario and i want to compare my site to canva and i want to compare it to pick monkey over here and these sites are both larger than get stencil at this time but again get stencil is my favorite one of the three so i'd like to at least give them a little support so i'm going to put them in here and then i'm just going to click compare 
Now, as we can see in this chart, it's showing all of the keywords. So there's 600,000 almost keywords here for Canva. And then if you go over to Stencil, there's about 8,000. And over here is over 100,000 for PicMonkey. In reality, 8,000 is still awesome. So there's nothing really against Stencil in here. It's just very tough competition. So if we were to look at different opportunities that we could possibly go after for Stencil here, we can scroll down and see some different things. So what I'd recommend doing is focusing on keywords that we're either already beating or we're at least close to beating or maybe our direct competition in this case we're comparing it to these our direct competition is not already ranking within like the top five or so for different searches so we want to find things that we have a chance to rank high for and in this example beat our competition so this could be a good one right here it says twitter cover photo size that gets basically around 1900 searches per month and we are currently ranked 20th it says and Canva is 28th and PicMonkey is 83rd. So this could be an example of one that you might want to target. Now something that you always want to look at over here is the keyword density because that can affect how hard it is to rank. In reality, all of these keywords are hard because the competition is tough with this type of market that you're going after. Now, luckily for most people out there, you're not going to be up against a competitor like Canva or PicMonkey in your day-to-day -day business. If you're a web design agency for a local area, you're not going to have much competition. Your competition fee might be like 10 or something like that, 20. So you have a lot better chance of beating them and moving up the ranks. But this is just an example of the kind of thing that you're gonna to wanna to look for. Another thing that you might look for is, like let's go down here and see graphic design tools, for example. I know that Stencil's 55th right here but there's also none in the top 10 with your direct competitors in this case. Now, hopefully you don't have a ton of direct competitors in your local market again, but you could actually have a chance to beat Canva and PicMonkey if you put a lot of work and effort into building content around graphic design tools and building backlinks toward an article or to your site for this phrase. So there's a lot of examples that you could go through within this actual tool here as far as the SEMrush keyword gap tool goes, I really think this is a powerful tool. It might be my second favorite one within the whole suite of tools that SEMrush has going on now, but I wanted to at least give you an overview and show you that there are ways that you can see what your competitors are doing and get an idea of where they're ranking and how you can possibly beat them all within SEMrush. It's just one of the many features built into it, and this tool is just amazing. I love SEMrush. And again, if you wanted to pick it up for yourself, you can get it at wpwithtom.com slash SEMrush. And I really hope that this video was helpful in showing you at least a basic overview of the two tools and how to use them. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up or a like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for viewing and have a good one.